Alright guys, I'm about ready to tell my story here. What had happened is, I ordered the board, it took six weeks to get here, I got it, it wouldn't charge, I exchanged it for a new one, I got the new one. So I'm going to show the first time I got it, then I'm going to move into when I got the new board, which just happened yesterday. Alright, so stay tuned, I have lots of information on this board. As I get the information and I learn about it, I'm going to pass it on over to you guys, the viewers. So make sure you subscribe. Don't miss out on any of my videos. This here is literally the first time I rode the board. Right here you can see it disconnects. It immediately reconnects though and turns back on with no problem. This may not be the best depiction of what the board can do because when we got it I plugged it in I thought it was fully charged but here I found out that it wasn't charging because the charger box light stayed green so that's why I thought it was fully charged but you can see I'm going over a lot of bumpy terrain here I mean it's not gentle on the board whatsoever and it does it it actually goes over some railroad tracks and everything right here everything's all good even after hitting the tracks I keep going but then it shuts off again right here and this here I really still haven't figured it out I have to shut the board off turn it back on alright and back up here the road I go the problems I've been having the board shuts off it shuts off by itself it just it just turns off the connection where the battery connects into the board it's no good they, they use the wrong connection plus not only does that not stay tight but I videotaped it I, look I'll show you guys I'll just show you I gotta show you it's the only thing I could say there are problems with this board if you don't want to mess with something if, you, if you're the kind of person that just buys it and then uh, it's got to send it back to fix it don't, don't when the battery bother. plugs in at it it's got like a little I think they call it EMC style plug it's like a computer plug uh, to plug in but the problem is it's got wires there's nothing holding it there Nothing holds it in. That's not a vibration proof style plug. It's like a computer plug. Like uh, That's why even computers that you don't even move have the little things on them around them. You screw in on each side to keep it in there. Because it's not going to stay in. They replaced some screws to hold the battery in. But really, Genesis? Give me a minute. I'm, I'm going to unscrew these now and see what the deal is. Look, I'm going to come right over here real quick show you. See this? Look. This is why they've never showed you what the deal is. Look at this floppy thing. How's that supposed to stay in there? Look. Flip flop. Unbelievable unbelievable look at look that's really gonna stay tight tell me that's gonna stay tight and you're not gonna have issues come on dude my 15 year old kids could have engineered this thing better <sighs> all right got it back on
there were two screws in the bottom of the skateboard that held the battery pack together, okay? They said these screws were coming loose, causing the battery pack to come loose. And the skateboard would shut off on people. They fixed the problem so the screws don't come loose. They used a different style screw and they put a cotter pin through it. Problem fixed. The skateboard still shuts off. There's still a bad connection. Okay, that's problem number one. This, I, the board stopped on me. So I had to get it going again. Oh my God. Doesn't look right. It looks like it's, the piece should be screwed onto the pack, but it's not. It's like just dangling there. And besides that, I mean, it, it, nothing's right. They sent this board out and it wasn't ready. They, they did a Kickstarter without telling people they did a Kickstarter. And the Kickstarter failed because now they, you can't tell me they didn't have these issues with these boards. And they, I mean, they had working boards that they had no problems with. Where are these boards at? I, I mean, you guys, quality control. They call it QC in the industry. Everybody knows what QC is when you're manufacturing. Before it goes out, you take the charger that goes with the board, you plug it in. I mean, that's what the QC setup's for. Charging, good. At some point, they had to charge that battery. Would they do it outside of the board? They never char tested the charging system before they sent this out. Genesis, listen. You knew I was getting this board. You knew JoeKaiser.com would be showcasing this board. I don't want to talk bad on this board. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a good board. I wanted to cruise around. I wanted to get some video. I wanted my kids to have some boards. We were going to buy all the Genesis vehicles. At one point, that was our plan. All right, we took a credit card. We had five grand. We put it aside. We said, this is going to be for those Genesis vehicles. After the skateboard, and the only reason why I didn't request a refund is because I wanted to get this thing and I wanted to see what's up. Now, there's going to be kids that save their money, hard-earned money, mowed lawns all summer, and they're going to get this board, and they're not even going to be able to use it. So we'll see what Genesis is going to do, how they're going to handle this. Everybody's going to see my videos. People look on YouTube before they buy. So now they're going to see this. All right, you guys need to know what's going on. I'm going to keep you informed. I'll guarantee I'm not the only person that has this problem. Now, we cruised around for a little bit, no issues. My son said the board did kind of feel like it slowed down and stopped, but then he didn't have a problem. The, the connection is garbage, garbage. They use an RC car connection with a computer DMC that should be, they're not sturdy connections. They should be screwed in to where it's going, but it's not. The battery's secured. That's good. I, I, I. And the other thing is when you, if you step on the middle of the board, the board flexes so much the battery bends down and actually scrapes the ground. I weigh 230 pounds. The booklet says 260 pound maximum. I mean, this battery scraping, scraping. Good thing it's lodged inside of a metal case. I mean, I'm not making this stuff up. I got no reason at all to make this stuff up. I'm not paid by anyone. I'm just a consumer. I'm just a consumer that's on YouTube and that puts their life on YouTube and this is how it's going down real life. I'm not even trying to portray this company in a bad light. I never wanted that. Never, I just wanted to work with them. I wanted to purchase their product and use their product and make videos and movies and whatnot for my social media. My rant and raven's now over. We're gonna see where Genesis goes with this. I'll keep it live. Every time I post a comment, on their YouTube or their Facebook or anything goes down with Genesis, I take a snapshot. 
because things have changed way too much with them. Just like if it's an 800 watt board. I have that snapshot, it's not an 800 watt board. Guys need to fix this Genesis. All right, guys, I gotta go. I got customers that I gotta take care of. I have some brand new products I got in today that I gotta process. I gotta put up for sale in my store. I got about 50 listings I have to post that are on my list. I better get this done. I'll talk to you guys later. Joe Kaiser here reporting on Genesis Electric Skateboards. Watch other people's YouTube videos. Let's see what they have to say. I'm not the only one out there. Don't just, maybe I got the dud. You'd think Genesis would have made sure Joe Kaiser got a good one. The most active person on any one of their social media accounts. But they didn't. They didn't. I expect instead of a video on your page showing this BS riding around like those guys making the video shoot, I guarantee we can find one of them and they'll tell you they had problems on the shoot. There's no way they didn't. So why don't we make some real videos, Genesis? And show that controller you guys have. What is that? Is that what? What? I found the manufacturer. I know who makes these boards. I found it. Board, I mean, designed to the T, it's on Alibaba. They're there. They only got one little listing. Maybe they're trying to undersell Genesis. It's just a blank, no-name board. But they're probably, it's the same board. They probably have issues. And if the people in New York, wait, you know, I know I've been saying I'm going to end this. And if the people in New York that own this clothing company that decide to sell skateboards, if you're getting railroaded by this Chinese company and this is the problems you're dealing with, welcome to importing and manufacturing with China. Been there, done that. I still go through it with people I've been buying off of for years. It is what it is. I don't turn that to the consumer though. I take the hit and I take care of the problem. Genesis, I hope you guys take care of this. Over and out. Joe Kaiser. And I'll keep it.